In the spring of 2015, the French-language Belgian radio and TV network RTBF decided to develop a new production tool designed to enrich its programming and services aimed at an increasingly tech-savvy audience. This tool, Studio Media One, makes it possible to create a continuous television program based on radio transmissions. Intended to fill an obvious gap in the broadcasting schedule, the morning TV slot, Studio Media One has been designed to keep picture tuning to a minimum, whilst displaying strictly televisual workmanship and style. The initial idea was to enhance radio programs by transmitting live from the studio, but the system also offers the facility to broadcast visual content which is not coming live from the studio, such as reports, film trailers, music clips and advertising. The DGTE teams were asked in particular to design a sophisticated system which would draw on all of RTBF's audiovisual output and which could collect and broadcast additional content via the metadata included once topics had been created. On delivery, this provided the Studio Media One Studio with a technology mix able to handle a whole set of content types and vehicles, which was driven by just three people, and which was able to produce several hours of live radio and TV of very high technical quality with deployment and preparation time kept to a minimum. So, what's the secret? The heart of the studio is based on a large multi-use radio studio big enough to accommodate nine people around a chat table, equipped with the latest generation technology. This studio is run by a single operator who handles the purely audio duties. The many possibilities offered by assisted audio broadcast are obviously in place and used on a daily basis. A completely new multi-camera system was then added, which includes in particular nine automated high-definition cameras operated by a single technician. The studio was then set up by television professionals who analyzed the possibilities. The angles and the frameworks were then also carefully investigated by an experienced producer to ensure that everybody could be filmed comfortably, an interior designer created the dedicated furniture, and a head lighting technician organized all of the lighting. From the word go, the studio was designed to include the illustration and decor video screens in order to illustrate the subjects in question and display all kinds of additional information. These key features allow the studio to retain its versatility. But Studio Media One's real originality and difference lies in the extremely careful fitted layout of all its components and its ability to interact with components across the whole of RTBF. Il est 8h et à la une de l'actualité ce matin, la Gantoise qui entre donc dans l'histoire du football. Tout d'abord, on sort. A special software package has been designed, developed and programmed by the DevTech from DGTE, which makes it possible to simplify all the acquisition and on-air presentation procedures to the greatest degree possible. The first aspect concerns the multi-camera system. An extremely user-friendly interface allows the operator to see and make decisions regarding all his operations via a touchscreen which clearly displays the content on offer. Touching a screen will activate it. Dozens of memories are preset, particularly an impressive array of split screens. It easily records and saves an image and is provided with a range of perfectly cast screening options. The second element deals with broadcasting, mainly via giant video screens, arranged as a backdrop to the chat table. Here too, a completely revolutionary interface has been devised. The operator in charge of this position can prepare his information and very easily decide to air it, also via a touchscreen which immediately displays the selected content. The option of collating all of the content produced, particularly on TV, such as news topics, for example, has, needless to say, been included since the outset. And this, thanks to an effective content indexation system, means that RTBF Media Library content, past and present, is available in its entirety.
Connections have also been included to pick up signals transmitted live from the system, handling the data routes, and those managing the weather information and the forecast, plus live satellite connections, if this is required by the news program. And the final layout has been designed to keep manipulations to a minimum. As soon as the data are encoded, they're automatically processed in order to be broadcast in a completely seamless fashion. Another innovatory aspect concerns on-air presentation itself. Since this is primarily a radio studio broadcasting live, and with a view to simplifying the work of the operators, the DevTech team has developed a broadcasting system for visual elements, which is wholly driven by sound triggers. So a clip would be broadcast automatically when a song goes out on the radio. A TV advertising screen will be triggered during radio advertising, with the possibility of broadcasting TV advertising, which is different from that broadcast on the radio. The new studio is also designed to be able to work in self-op mode, and in this case, the camera mix operates automatically based on a voice detect system developed by DevTech. In summary, Studio Media One is a fully comprehensive tool which makes it possible quickly and easily, particularly as regards access to content, to create a constant stream of radio, television and internet content with just a handful of operators.